gas station based solely on the fact that it has a giant deer. Hi, I'm just driving through for today. 30? Uh, maybe tomorrow will be Yellowstone. We don't know what you're doing for sure, but I would recommend. Thank We're you. in. I just got my thing. I just paid for it. Oh my god! It's so exciting. There, there they are. It's like driving into an alien landscape. I love it every time. I don't know how. I have no idea how I'm gonna manage. Ugh driving in this because my head is on a swivel and I'm so excited and I just need somebody to blab to. So I'm going to listen to lots of music and roll all my windows down and my hair is going to blow all over the place and I'm super excited. So um, the internet is wonky. You guys are going to get dumped a bunch of snapchats probably because I'm just going to keep adding them as I go but whenever I hit um, a spot of Wi-Fi or whenever I hit a spot of Wi-Fi or internet, they're all going to dump onto there. So hang tight. I'm oversharing today. It's going to be annoying if you're just trying to like zoom through your snap stories. I'm sorry. I'm having a good time though. <gasps> it's so pretty. Every, every single corner I drive around is so cool. If you haven't been here, I highly recommend it. It's like super affordable trip. Um, it's just really cool. Really cool. Okay, I feel like you get a good view, kind of. That's the best way I have to set it up. I probably shouldn't be driving. I'm too, like, space piece excited. But, like, luckily there's all kinds of cars around me to keep me slow, because I would probably drive a little fast out of excitement. Check it out. It's so cool at nighttime or in, like, a, like sunset or sunrise times. Like, the sky is so cool. Like all the skylines lit up differently and all the ridges like shine in the sunlight. It's crazy. And the colors on all the layers. There's like all kinds of science behind that. Look it up for me. <laughs> I read about it before, I just can't remember. But it's wild. I can't tell if this is like carved out, like this was underwater at some point. I don't know what. It's just kind of out in the middle of nowhere, all this cool structure.
up here is where my oldest daughter fell and on the fossil trail and she got a stick in her face and we had to hightail it out of the Badlands to a hospital for her first ER visit. <sighs> Memory. dog towns and show you all the prairie dogs that pop out of the ground too. And maybe there will be some uh, mountain goats roaming around on the side of the road. So the cheese curds that I bought yesterday are like perfect today. Like they're squeaking just right. I don't know how to make you hear that they're squeaking but They're squeaking perfectly. Happy gal. Also, my road dog was a pretty chill passenger. He's obviously embarrassed to be sitting up front with me or he doesn't like my driving. He's a good boy though. Right, Timby? You're a good boy. He's a good boy. He's the best boy. Ooh, this is this is the part that's all mounds. It's so cool. Oh, everywhere I look is so cool. I don't know where to show you. wind just got super intense and it's legit <laughs> making me like a bobblehead, like pushing my head. We're above all the ridges now, so everything looks like it's dug into the ground. So I'm like up, up on like the, I don't know, like the plains part and the wind is, look at, the wind is epic and it's like blowing my eardrum out. Triple whammy. I found, um, I think it's the pronghorns, pronghorn gazelles, and some mountain goats, maybe. I think mountain goats are out there with them, unless those are just baby pronghorns. And the prairie dogs are barking at me. Where are you, little buddy? I hear you. There's one. Found the aminos. Oh, I really need like a whole day in the Badlands and a whole day at Custer Park and a whole day um, on the Needles Highway and over by Deadwood and blah blah blah. You've seen over the years like all of my South Dakota trips and I try to like smush it all into one day. So now I have to blow through the rest of. I'm gonna force myself to stop stopping at every every overpass and all the, the scenic spots and all the animals. I have to force myself to just keep driving through because I have to get through Custer State Park and I have to go through the wildlife route because I bought popcorn to feed all of the wild donkeys. So I hope I find them and maybe we'll see some buffalo today.
yellow mounds. We're in a yellow layer. Pretty cool. This might be the most boring snap story of your life. I apologize. I'm just like, I'm tripping out at how cool this is, no matter how many times I've been here. And I just, I'm all alone and I just need to share it with somebody. So, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> how cool is this? Look at it, just look at it. Oh my God, it's so cool. Oh. anymore but look who I found oh I'm so bad at this cool there's the buffalo 